Hello everyone, welcome back. Some of the most popular videos on my channel are the ones where I demonstrate very quick and easy tips to improve your makeup application, whether it's your eye makeup or your foundation or your concealer. And a lot of you have found me through my hooded, downturned, and aging eye videos. And I try to update them with a new technique that you may not have seen before, but it's difficult to sort of reinvent the wheel. There are only so many tips and tricks that I can discover and show you. But when I come across something that I think is not necessarily new, but isn't demonstrated a lot on YouTube, I feel like it's my duty to share it with you. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how simply smiling while you apply your makeup can completely change the way it looks, completely changes how even your features look. Now, some of you might be thinking, what? That makes no sense. And others might be thinking, I think I've seen this before. And if you have, my apologies. I obviously can't watch every YouTube video that's out there. This is just something that I have recently started doing because of changes I've been seeing in my own face. As I've gotten older, my eyes have become more hooded, more downturned, my lips are more uneven. Now, as far as the brows go, I'm sure a lot of you have heard the saying, brows are sisters, not twins. But using this method, you're going to see how I make them look more like twins than sisters. Because for most of us, our brows aren't even sisters. They're more like distant relatives. Most of us have been taught that the best way to fill in and shape your brows is to use a pencil, line it up on the side of your nose, make a mark right here, and then turn the pencil on an angle, and that's where your arch should be, so you make another mark, and then you turn it once again from the outer corner of your nostril to the outer corner of your eye, and that's where your brow should end. That method might work really well for many of you, but for those of us that feel like their eyebrows are falling as well as their eyelids and they want a more lifted look, or who have brows that are quite uneven, where you do have one with an arch and one with a curve, that likely won't be the best technique for you because your brows will end up looking very different from one another. Ideally, you would like your brows to either both look arched or both look curved. This brow is definitely more curved and I can get this one to curve, but I can't get this one to arch. So by default, I've decided that I'm just going to follow my natural brow bone and make them both curved. So this is something that you need to play around with on your own face shape. What I'm saying is that you should choose the shape that is achievable for both of your brows. When you're smiling, it also makes it a lot easier to determine if you should bring the brow more upwards toward your temple or if you've brought it too low. Now my face is at rest and I feel like my brows look pretty even, but what I'll do once in a while is I'll take a look at my makeup when it's all done I'll smile again and it'll just emphasize the areas that need perhaps just a little bit more filling in. And I can't explain why this is. I, don't, I can't explain why I don't see these little nuances in the unevenness of the brows until I'm smiling. If someone knows why this is, why I find it so much easier to, to fill in my brows when I'm smiling, please let me know in the comments. And no, it's not because I have Botox in my forehead because I don't have any Botox in my forehead. Now I have shown this smiling trick in another video of mine recently, but I am not so self-involved that I think you've all seen every single one of my videos. But in case you have, you have seen me do this before and a lot of comments were from people saying that they had never even considered doing this and it worked so well. Because how many of us with hooded and or downturned and or aging eyes have applied eyeliner and then when we smiled, the eyeliner or even the eyeshadow ends up all the way down here. Not only does it end up down here when we smile, but the eyeliner ends up smudging in this area right here, 
due to the fact that, you know, our eyes can be watering throughout the day or we're making these different facial features throughout the day. So that creates smudging. And I have tried many waterproof pencils over the years, shadows, liquid liners, you name it. The smudging still happens in this corner where our eyes are more downturned. A lot of videos will tell you that the best way to make a winged eyeliner or a winged eyeshadow is to follow along with your lower lash line. However, that does not work for all of us because if you follow along with your lower lash line and you have a downturned eye, you are going to end up with your eyeshadow and your eyeliner down here, like I mentioned, when you smile. And you're going to be prone to a lot more smudging. So what I recommend, the easiest method, is to apply your eyeshadow and eyeliner as normal as you usually would, but instead of taking an eye makeup wipe and just wiping it away like this or using a cotton swab or I've shown in past videos to use a little bit of concealer to clean up the edge and get a more precise winged liner or winged shadow. I want you to smile and then take the wipe or the cotton swab or the concealer, whatever you're using, and clean it up with your eyes in a smiling position because then you will get rid of any eyeliner or shadow that is in this downturned corner right here and you will not get the smudging. Not only that, but your eyes will look so much more lifted even when your face is at rest. So I really hope you'll try this trick for your eyebrows and your eye makeup, but it also works for lips. How many of you struggle with lip liner and making your lips even? Now I've addressed this in other videos as well where again I've shown how to take a little bit of concealer and even up your lip line after your lipstick and liner is on. But another way to get a more even lip look is again by smiling. In the same way that smiling makes it easier for me to even out my brows, it makes it so much easier for me to even out my lip line. I'm telling you when I smile I am able to get that lip line perfectly straight and even. And then just like with my eyes, I relax my face a little bit and then I can sort of perfect the outer corners if I want to. I know when my husband walks into the room while I'm doing my makeup, he's thinking, what are you smiling at? What exactly is happening here? And I have to tell him, it's just the way that I can apply my makeup more evenly and have everything look more lifted and he just kind of nods and walks away. So anyway, that's the trick. I really hope you enjoyed seeing it and me demonstrating it. Give it a try. Let me know in the comments if it works for you. I'm also going to link in the description box all of my other hooded eye videos. I actually have a hooded downturned and aging eye playlist. And then I also have a concealer trick that I showed recently that has been very popular. I'm really glad you guys are enjoying that. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I do encourage you to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can become part of the Risa Does Makeup family and you won't miss an upload. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter under the same username. It's all the same username. It's all Risa Does Makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to see my little makeup trick. And if you did enjoy the video, I'm not sure if I already said this yet, but please give it a thumbs up. I hope to see you all again in my next video.